under the heading, Thanks for Saving My Life, a gathering today by eight New Yorkers and the first responders who saved them. Yeah, it is the 28th annual Second Chance Ceremony by the FDNY, an emotional and heartfelt thank you to the men and women who save people from dying. Can you imagine? That is what these heroes do for a living every day. And can you imagine the gratitude from those they save? Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. To actually meet somebody who I've witnessed heart stop and come back is like, is mind blowing. A moment filled with mixed emotion. While this literally is a celebration of life, it also brings folks back to what were near death experiences when minutes mattered. I fell on my face and I don't know what happened after that. Like the next day, I remember uh, waking up in the hospital. A then 12 year old Dylan collapsed at school was in cardiac arrest. Lieutenant Ricardo Otero was right there and now happy to be standing right here with the now 14 year old. We don't really look for gratification, but but we see we feel it within ourselves to know that we were able to take him to the hospital and we had a pulse on him by then it's just an amazing feeling please come on up to meet your rescuers this group has one thing in common they are survivors who for the first time since nearly dying are seeing the teams who saved them during the FDNY second chance ceremony you hear stories of grit and determination. We were notified by the uh, TBTA officers that there was a man down mid span. On the Verrazano Bridge, Yi Zhu Quan was running the New York City Marathon when he collapsed. EMTs were able to resuscitate Wilfredo Ruiz in his home. After nearly 20 minutes, a friend initially jumped in and started CPR, a critical move. Because of what happened, Wilfredo's daughter wants to be a paramedic. She's really into it, <laughs> and that makes me more happy. This is about celebrating the wins and what lies ahead. I want to be an electrical engineer.